Um, yeah, hi, I'm Daniel Nolan, um, one of the PDFI social science professors, and um, over the last 25 years or so, um, I've spent a long time working with um, industry, civil society organizations, computer scientists, working on a kind of range of what I would call kind of experimental technologies, where we set up technologies to see if we can address some of our major, what we might call kind of collective concerns, I've called them here. So here's an example of one. Um, where we looked at using machine learning algorithms to um, pick out suspicious behavior in an airport. And we used this to try and see if we could address some of the major concerns around privacy and surveillance. Okay? So what we did here, and there's a kind of nice video that would run with this if the technology was working, but it's not. Um, what we did here was use these uh, uh, smart machine learning algorithms to um, try and transform the surveillance system in the airport. So moving away from that kind of conventional surveillance system where you'd have a bank of monitors, people's uh, activities would be made visible the whole time. We're just used to having one user interface with no default visual component. And instead, each time the system picked up a suspicious behavior, it would send a text alert to the operatives. And they could click on that and watch a short video clip to see what had set off that alert. So we tried to move away from making data visible, and we experimented with how much you could limit the amount of data that gets stored. We didn't develop this as a kind of complete solution to privacy and surveillance, but instead we used it to set up a series of conversations with um, the police, airport operators, security operatives, civil liberties groups, and academics to see if we could have a whole range of different conversations around privacy and surveillance, and then feed that back into the design of our system so we could kind of continually update it. Over the last 10 years, this has led to a series of further projects on video analytics around other spaces that people move through, train stations, museums, and other sorts of applications as well. So not just suspicious behavior in the airport, but looking at things like aggression prediction, emotion recognition. So this is really designed to kind of open up a series of questions around the politics of artificial intelligence, the politics of machine learning, how we might make these systems accountable and transparent in some way. And it sort of fits in with a whole range of other projects that there's not time to talk about today, where I've looked at other issues around things like sustainability and how digital technologies are involved in managing our everyday lives. But I'll stop there. Thank you. Thank you.